My name is Haneo Sachiusu. I'm 20 years old and in my sophomore year of college. Sorrow, you idiot! How could you do this to me? You might be wondering why I'm blind drunk and talking to myself in a bar. Well, it's because my boyfriend dumped me just a few hours ago. We had been going out for half a year and I thought that we were in love, and then just one day, our relationship had fallen apart. Three hours earlier. Sorrow, you told me you couldn't come out with me today because you had a party with friends! What were you doing in the town center? I saw you walking down the street with my sister, and you were holding hands! Did you lie to me? What were you doing together? Crap! You saw us? I thought you wouldn't realize yet. I told you about my sister, remember? When we first started dating, I told you that she always steals my boyfriends and warned you to stay away from her. She always wants what I have. That's why I asked you not to go near her. Why are you with her? I thought I could trust you. I didn't go to her. She came to me. She sent me a private message online and we started talking. It's not my fault. You could have just ignored her. Why would you keep on talking to her if you knew I didn't want you to? How could you blame me? Your sister's hot. If she came on to me, why should I ignore her? She looks so pretty in her profile picture, I thought she was photoshopping it. But when we actually met up to go to a hotel, she was the real deal! I can't believe you! You actually cheated on me with my own sister! You don't even feel guilty! You're the worst! It's your own fault for being so plain. You're not as appealing as your sister, so anyone would choose her over you! Anyway, are you really sure your sisters? You don't look anything alike! You're just the ugly duckling! <laughs> Sorrow, you're horrible! Why would you say all of that? I thought that you really did love me back. I trusted you. Hey, don't guilt trip me! What you felt and assumed I felt is your own responsibility. We're through. I'm going to date Reyna. She's already told me she's fallen in love with me. Trust me when I tell you it's not going to last. She says she loves you, but she'll throw you away as soon as she's bored of you. She gets bored of toys pretty easily. Are you okay with that? That's easy for you to say. You don't know how in love we are. She's head over heels in love with me. Every other boyfriend she stole from me said the exact same thing, and they all turned out the same. They were all dumped within days. I'm different. I'm special. She says that she loves me more than she's ever loved anyone. Everyone else said that too. She always uses that line to pull guys in closer. She knows that guys like to hear that kind of stuff. She's playing with you. Shut up! You're just jealous of your sister and want to ruin things for me. If you want someone to pity you, go whine elsewhere. I don't give a crap. I guess there's no point trying to convince you. I warn you, so don't come crying to me when things go wrong. Goodbye, Sorrel. I hope you're happy. Finally! I've had enough of your complaining! So, here I am drunk. After Sorrel's party, we were supposed to come here to have some drinks and eat dinner. But because I spotted him on a date with my sister, I'm sitting here drinking alone. I feel so pathetic. Why? Why does everyone get taken away by my sister? Am I really that ugly? Looking back at my life, there are a lot of things that my sister took away from me. It wasn't limited to just boyfriends, either. Ever since we were in middle school, my sister had been modeling for a teen magazine. She was pretty, and she had the confidence to show it off. Even I admit that I think she's beautiful, too. My parents doted on my older sister. They praised her good looks and her cheerfulness, and gave her everything she wanted. She was given special treatment, and I was treated like I was an extra in a movie. They bought her everything she wanted, brand new despite knowing how quickly she got sick of things. And when she got bored of wearing or playing with something, it was passed down to me. Everything I had, clothes, toys, bags, everything I owned was stuff my sister didn't want anymore. Why do you always treat us differently? You never buy me anything, but you always buy Reyna what she wants. I want to wear clothes that I like. They're still wearable. What are you complaining about? It would be a waste to throw everything away every time Reyna gets bored, so you should wear them. Your sister has better taste in fashion, so just wear what she gives you. Like my mother said, my sister was conscious of fashion trends. Even at a young age, and always wanted to buy more feminine and cute clothing that had patterns and frills on it. As for me, I preferred simple, monotone styles. Stuff my parents didn't think was worth buying. They didn't think it was important for me to have my own identity. In that regard, my sister knew how to please my parents and had them wrapped around her little finger. Mom, look at me! Isn't this dress really cute? Oh, it's so cute! It suits you so much! We should buy it! But it won't suit Hanio when it's her turn to wear it. She's too boring for a dress this cute. Don't bother about Haneo. You're probably right about it not suiting her. But if you want the dress, we'll buy it for you. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. I love you. 
Even as a child, I'd given up on my own parents. I didn't expect them to see me for who I was, and I could tell that there wasn't any room in their hearts for them to love me. I felt unloved by my own parents, so I looked for someone to love me elsewhere. As a result, I ended up falling in love with boys left, right, and center. In the 10th grade, I got my first boyfriend. I was so in love, I couldn't see or think about anyone else. I thought that he felt the same way, and I was living in bliss. It was just the two of us in our little world, and no one else could disturb us. But, three months after we started dating, my sister showed me that it wasn't enough for her to take our parents away from me. She wanted more. I can still remember how shocked I was when I found her on a date with my boyfriend. Taki, I love you! I love you too, Reina! I don't want your sister anymore! Takiya, what are you doing? What are you to say to her? Crap! Hanayo! Were you listening? My first boyfriend ended up falling for my sister and broke up with me to date her instead. They had been going out for two weeks and looked so happy when I suddenly heard that my sister had dumped him. That was when I first realized that boys were just as dispensable to her as her clothes. Once she was bored, she threw it away. After being dumped, my ex-boyfriend came running back to me, saying he was sorry and suggesting that he wanted to get back together, but I was sick of him. I didn't want to talk or even look at him, so I ignored everything he said to me until he finally gave up. He was the first boyfriend in a long line of many to fall prey to my sister. Every time I got a new boyfriend or even had a crush, my sister would call out to them and say anything they wanted to hear to make them fall in love with her. Every time she stole someone from me, she would throw them away soon after. Everyone would choose my sister over me as soon as they found out how beautiful she was, and they all said the same thing, that I wasn't appealing enough and that I couldn't blame them for favoring my sister. I hated her and avoided her at home and at school as much as possible. But I couldn't help but want to be like her. I wanted to be beautiful, loved, and treasured. I wanted someone to look at me and choose me over my sister. I wish that I could be as pretty as she was, and before I knew it, I was copying the things she wore, the accessories she had, and matching everything she did. Unfortunately, no matter how hard I tried to copy her, I couldn't be her. I was me. Plain, boring old me. I realized a long time ago that I couldn't win against her natural looks. I felt pathetic, but I couldn't go back to wearing the clothes I liked. I had no confidence. Hey, Hanio, how are you? I had a great day today. Why do you always, always take my boyfriends from me? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You could have anyone you want, and you have plenty of guys running after you. But why do you have to come after the guys that I'm dating? What are you talking about? I take your boyfriends because it feels good, duh. You're the worst. Anyway, what do you want? I thought you were on a date with Sorrel. I saw you with him at lunchtime. Oh, he's ancient history. We already broke up. What? But he only just broke up with me a few hours ago. He said he was going to start dating you. He offered to buy me a bag to mark our first date, but he told me he couldn't buy the bag from the brand I wanted because it was too expensive. He ended up buying me a bag from a, some other really cheap boutique. Can you believe that? How stingy can you get? I'm not going out with a guy like that. If I knew that he was poor, I never would have agreed to go out with him. Anyway, I took the bag, but I don't want him asking to go Dutch on our next date, so I escaped as soon as I had the chance. You're one to talk, you slept with my boyfriend, made him dump me, and then dumped him on the same day that you started dating him. What is wrong with you? I'm amazed you were able to accept that bag as a present after everything you've done. I'm free to do what I like. Plus, he said that he wanted to buy me a present for my birthday. He can't take it back if he said he was going to give it to me. Introduce me when you get your next boyfriend. I'll make them happy for you. There's no point in hiding them because I always find out. Why would I introduce them to you? Leave me alone already. After my conversation with Reina, Sorrel had sent me a lot of messages, apologizing and begging to get back together. But I was too busy drinking my woes away to bother replying to him. I didn't care about anything anymore. Nobody loved me for me, and nobody I love would stay with me. Hey, lady! <laughs> You're really drunk. Are you okay? Do you want us to help you? I was completely drunk and couldn't even stand up by myself because I was so wobbly. The two strangers took me outside, supporting my body. I wanted to run away, but they had gripped my arms, and even if I managed to throw their arms off, I wouldn't get far before falling over my own feet. I had no choice but to go where they took me. Let's go somewhere we can rest. I bet you want to lie down, right? We can get you some water if you feel nauseous. Oh no, I've got to get away. They're going to take me somewhere. That's when... Hey! What are you guys doing to my girlfriend? Back off! What? Who the hell are you? We were just taking care of her because she was drunk. Rio, is that you? The man that had called out to us was Rio. He was my childhood friend from elementary school. We had gone to the same school ever since. I don't believe what you're saying! Where were you planning on taking her? She's my girlfriend, so I'll take care of her! Leave her alone! We told you! She couldn't even stand! Oh, really? Honeyo, do you want these guys to take you home? Did you 
ask them to help you? I was so scared the words wouldn't come out. I did my best to shake my head from side to side. She says she doesn't want to go with you. Leave her alone. She's confused because she's drunk. She said she wanted to come with us when we were inside. Come on, let's go. Ryo pulled his phone out of his pocket and tapped the screen a few times before holding it to his ear. Sorry to bother you this late. Is this the police station on Money Robo Street? There's some guys forcing a drunk girl to go home with them. The girl's trying to get away, but the men won't let go of her. Hey, idiot! Who are you calling? I don't think you have time to be getting pissed off with me. I called the nearest station, so the police will be here any minute. Are you sure you want to be here when they arrive? You piece of crap! Why did you have to get in our way? <laughs> we don't need an ugly woman like this anyway. You can never bet. Oh! Haneo, are you okay? What were you doing getting so drunk by yourself? W what about the police? I just lied to get those idiots to go away. Can you stand up? Uh, thank you. Ugh, I feel sick. Ugh. Whoa, hey! Damn it, I like these shoes. Ryo got some water to wash away the place where I had been sick, and then helped me get to a park bench so I could sit down. I needed the fresh air to make the nausea go away. What? You were dumped by another guy? How many guys is that this year? My sister took him away from me. She didn't even want him. What? Again? Just how bad are you at choosing guys? Don't say it like that. I already feel really bad about myself. You don't have to say stuff to make it worse. Hmm. But I wonder why all your boyfriends end up going to your sister. I bet you could smell the evil from blocks away. Because she's prettier than me. Nobody wants to go out with someone like me when they have a chance to date a girl like her. Really? I think you're cuter than she is. As for your personality, you're definitely the winner. I'm not cuter than her. If I was, then why would they leave me for her? That's because the guys you go out with are all lowlifes. They weren't worth your time. It's because I'm ugly. You're the guy from the bar. Even he said that I was ugly. Ugh. You're being so annoying over absolutely nothing. Stop whining about not being pretty. I told you, you're cuter than she is. Rio got his phone out again and was doing something so that I couldn't see the screen. Then he suddenly said something incredible. Then try going out with me. I'll prove to you that there's a guy that won't end up choosing your sister over you. I'll make you happy. Huh? Rio, what are you talking about? Have you been drinking too? I'm sober. From today on, you're my girlfriend. We're going out. You understand what I'm saying, Hanio? I couldn't stay awake any longer and blacked out. I finally regained consciousness the next day in someone else's room. What? Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? You're so noisy. It's too early for you to be shouting. What? Rio, what are you doing here? When I woke up, I was in Rio's bed, and Rio himself was lying back on the couch next to it. I had no idea how I'd gotten there, and after being almost taken home by those creepy guys the night before, it gave me a hell of a scare. What are you doing? I took you home and let you rest in my bed, like a good boyfriend would do if their girlfriend was drunk. Girlfriend? Rio, what are you talking about? I just did what I had to do. Oh, you don't remember? Good thing I recorded our conversation. I'm sober. From today on, you're my girlfriend. We're going out. You understand what I'm saying, Anio? Yeah, I understand. Don't shout! You already agreed. Too late to take it back. Thank God for technology or this never would have worked. Huh? What? Wait, I'm your girlfriend now? Rio, what are you up to? Yeah, I'm your boyfriend. It'll be easier for you if I know what your sister's like, right? You can trust me. I won't ever choose her over you. I had my doubts about him and his motives, but he convinced me to accept it. It was true that we had always been good friends, but I never imagined that we would end up going out. So I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do. It was Rio. I had never thought of him in that way before. But Rio himself didn't seem to care about any of that and took me out to have dinner, watch movies, and have dates like normal people. The dates I had with Rio were completely different from any dates I had with boyfriends up until now. I felt more at ease with him and was able to be myself without thinking that he might not like the real me. It was a lot of fun and came naturally to me. It made me even happier when he suggested what I had unconsciously been yearning for. Let's go get your hair done. What? Why all of a sudden? You wear your hair like that because you're copying your sister, right? You thought that being more like her would make guys like you more, am I right? The clothes you wear are all stuff she would choose too. I think that's something more simple would suit you. But I don't feel confident wearing the stuff I like. Do you feel confident wearing the stuff she likes? Come on, trust me. Trust what you like. You'll be happier wearing stuff you enjoy wearing. 
Rio spent the entire day with me to give me the ultimate makeover. We walked around the shopping mall, finding clothes that I wanted to wear, and stopped by a hair salon to have my hair redone. I hadn't had this much fun shopping for clothes in years. Yeah, I think this suits you much better. You look really cute, Hanayo. The person in the mirror was the person I had been before. I'd started copying my sister's clothes. It was plain old me. I felt a lot better wearing stuff that came naturally to me, but I was still unsure of myself. Are you sure this is better? Don't these clothes look really boring? Why do you care what your parents and sister think? Just wear what you want to wear. You shouldn't get caught up in your sister's values too much. You're you. Up until now, my own family had denied me my own identity and hadn't even loved me for who I was. I was sure that none of my ex-boyfriends had ever loved me for who I was either because I had never shown them the real me. But Rio had not only accepted me, he had encouraged me to be myself and he loved me for it. The love that I had yearned for all these years was right in front of me. It didn't take long for me to fall in love with him. I can't believe I've never thought about you in a romantic way before, even though you were always so close by. It amazes me that I managed to start liking all those other guys. What was I thinking? You said before, have you finally fallen for me? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, I've always liked you, ever since we were kids, but you never noticed. What? Seriously? Since when? Why didn't you say anything? You gotta give me credit. I did my best to show you I liked you. I was doing all the typical stuff. Teasing you, trying to get your attention, everything and more. But you were always busy with those other guys and never realized how I felt. You're kidding. I'm really sorry. I'm really dull when it comes to romance. Don't worry. I never lost heart. It's sort of thanks to that we're able to be together like this now. You're my girlfriend right now. That's all that matters to me. I was so happy and so in love. He was sincere and honest and I didn't want to lose him. However, I was scared that it wouldn't last. I trusted him, but my sister was always somewhere in the back of my mind, laughing that she would always get her way. The happier I was with him, the more afraid I became. I thought he was happy too, and just as in love with me as I was with him. So it came as a shock when he asked me the last thing I wanted to hear. All right, I think it's time for you to introduce me to your sister. What did you say? It's been written all over your face for the past few days that you're scared about her taking me away from you. I'm sorry, it's not that I don't trust you. Guys can't help it, she's too pretty. I told you when we first started going out that I'm gonna prove to you that there are guys that won't choose her over you. I'm not interested in her, I only love you. Plus, it's about time we teach her a lesson for treating you and your ex-boyfriends like that. I really, really, really didn't want to introduce them, but I decided that I would. I wanted to trust Rio. I didn't want to ruin what we had by doubting him. For the first time in my life, I announced to my sister that I had a new boyfriend and asked her to meet us at a cafe so I could introduce her. For other sisters, it might have been a normal thing to do, but for me, it felt like I was digging my own grave. I can't believe you're actually introducing me! Thanks! I guess you finally realized that no one wants someone like you. She found it hilarious that I was offering up my own boyfriend like sacrifice, but I believe that this time would be different. I wanted to have faith in Rio. Then, on the day, Hi, I'm Hanyu's sister, Reina. You must be your new boyfriend. I wanted to meet you for so long. My sister walked into the cafe as though she owned the place, looking glamorous. She was dressed to kill, and I could tell by the way she spoke that she had already started her attack. It's nice to meet you. My name is Rio. I'm Hanyu's boyfriend. Oh my god, you're so handsome. Your dark hair and dark eyes make you look so sexy. Hanyu never told me you were this good looking. She must not appreciate you enough. The second she sat down at the table, she was leaning towards him, pushing her breast forward, doing everything she could to catch his gaze. But Rio ignored her and glanced at me. It was a signal we had chosen beforehand. Understood. Someone from work is calling my phone, so I'm going to go answer it. I'll be right back. Take your time. We'll get to know each other while you're gone. My sister was practically screaming, here's my chance, as I left her and Rio alone together. I stood outside the cafe and pretended to speak on the phone. It was a cover for me to keep an eye on what was going on inside. Everything was going as planned. Rio and I had already spoken about how we would teach Rain a lesson, and we had booked a table at this cafe especially, because it had large windows looking in. Hey, Rio, can I ask you something? Don't sit so close to him. Back off, Reina. Why are you dating my little sister? What do you see in her? Sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean? Well, she's a good girl, but she's really boring. Her face isn't that pretty, and her sense of fashion is really plain. Why are you insulting your own little sister? I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I think I've fallen in love with you. I never felt this way before. Why don't you dump her and date me instead? I was outside the entire time, so I couldn't hear what she was saying, but I could tell that she was making a pass at him by the way she was smiling at him and fluttering her eyelashes. 
Just imagining that she had done this with all of my ex-boyfriends made my blood boil. Up until now, all the guys I had dated had fallen for her little act, one by one. But this time would be different. I believed that. I had promised Rio that I would wait outside, but it bothered me that I couldn't hear what they were saying. Reina wasn't looking at me anyway, so I decided to make my way back into the cafe. As soon as I did, I heard Rio's response to Reina's aggressive appeal. You're disgusting. What? I heard Rio's voice low and angry, and dripping with revulsion. I'm sorry, Rio. I think I just misheard you. I thought you just called me disgusting, but that's impossible, right? You said something else, didn't you? Or you were talking about something else? My sister's voice was breaking. She must have known that she hadn't heard wrong because she was clearly affected by it. it. Must have really hurt her pride. You didn't hear me wrong. And what else could I be talking about? What could be more disgusting than a woman flirting with and stealing her own little sister's boyfriends? I didn't want to say this because we'd only just met. You're my girlfriend's sister, but there's something wrong with you. You need help. I can't believe you just said that. Take that back. That's when several of the male customers that were seated with their backs to my sister suddenly stood up and faced towards Reina. I was surprised when I saw their faces. What were they all doing here? I was too busy worrying about what my sister would try to do and whether she would succeed or not to notice that we had been surrounded by my ex-boyfriends. In other words, all the guys my sister had stolen from me and then dumped the second she was tired of them were all gathered in the same room. Reina! What's going on? What are you all doing here? How are you all here at the same time? You're the one that said you wanted to have some space because you love me too much. I thought we were still together. So what are you doing flirting with some other guy? I dumped Hanayo and started dating you because you promised me that you would show me a fun time. But you stopped answering my calls a few days after. I bought you a bag from an expensive brand because you told me it was your birthday. I can't believe you dumped me on the same day. I'm not your purse, Reyna. Don't treat me like one. What's going on? What are y'all doing here? I just gathered all your ex-boyfriends, that's all. When I told them they would have the chance to demand compensation, they all jumped at the idea. You deceived me! You're horrible! Why would you do that? That's, That's my line. line! No! I didn't do anything wrong! Stop! I was in love with Hanayo before you came along and ruined everything! Hanayo was so sweet, and she never asked me to buy her things I couldn't afford! You're right! Hanayo was the best! I never should have left her! I was tricked by that vixen! Hanayo, can we start over? I want to make things right! Forgive me! I was young and stupid! Hey, idiot! Wait a second! I get to start over with her first because I was the last guy she dated! Wait a minute! Didn't you prefer me over her? You chose to dump her because you wanted me! I'm prettier and better than her! Shut up! The lot of you! You're all idiots! Hanayo's my girlfriend now, and I'm not letting go of her! All of you lost the privilege of dating her when you left her for a woman like Reyna! I'm not giving her up for any of you pieces of crap! Go have your lovers quarrel somewhere else! Hanayo! You already have a new boyfriend?! But why? I loved you! That's when I realized how ridiculous I had been for falling in love with guys like these, who took absolutely no responsibility for their own actions. Now I can finally say to you all, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for choosing my sister. Reina, thank you too. What? Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm sincerely thanking you. If you hadn't stolen all these hopeless guys from me, I would have been stuck with one of them for the rest of my life. Ugh, what's the point of me taking them if it doesn't bother you? Honey, yo! Wait, please! It's not my fault! Your sister's the one that came on to me! She's the one to blame! Hang on, weren't you the one that told me if you want someone to pity you, go whine elsewhere? I don't give a crap when you dump me. I'm pretty sure that was you. Damn it! We judged that Rena had finally learned her lesson, so Rena and I left my sister and my ex-boyfriends behind at the cafe and made our way home. I felt much better, but there was one thing that was bothering me. Why do you even know my ex-boyfriends? How did you even find them? Does it bother you? I'm interested. Rio looked ashamed. It was the first time I'd seen him look so embarrassed, and it made me wonder what I would hear. Well, I got curious. Doesn't everybody wonder what their girlfriend or boyfriend's exes are like? I kind of stalked your accounts online and contacted them. I'll be honest, I kind of got pissed off whenever I saw pictures of you together with them. But that's my own fault for searching. I didn't expect an answer like that and couldn't help but laugh. He was always so straightforward and seemed so confident, and I wasn't prepared for him to do something that a teenager would do. Hey, don't laugh! But you're being so cute! 
I'm going home by myself if you're going to laugh at me like that. Wait, don't leave me behind. Rio, I'm sorry for teasing you. <laughs> a few years later, Rio and I got married. It seems that my sister had made a few more attempts to try and steal him when I wasn't around, but they all ended in complete failure. Rio wasn't interested, and he's shown that he's completely devoted to me. As for my beautiful sister, she managed to get away from my ex-boyfriends and their demands for compensation. But due to the shock of being unable to seduce Rio, she started aiming for another type of guy. Next, she had raised the bar and was going after married men. She seemed to have been enjoying her married conquests, but it was naive of her to think that there wouldn't be a consequence. After the usual having affairs with men and throwing them away once she was bored, and repeating the cycle over and over, several of the married men ended up confessing to their own wives. As a result, my sister ended up being billed for huge amounts of compensation from all sides. I wasn't surprised and she had ruined the lives of not only the men she cheated with, but their wives and families. Even my parents couldn't keep quiet when they found out what she had done, and they were both furious with her, for probably the first time in her life. After that, I got a phone call from my parents, who asked if I knew what Reina had been doing. I had no reason to lie about what I had suffered, so I told them everything that had happened in the past. It seemed like that was a revelation for them, because they came to visit and apologize for how they had treated me. They had finally acknowledged that the way they raised Reina was partially to blame for how Reina treated me, and they promised that they would never be so soft on my sister again, and would treat us fairly. The void between my parents and I had finally closed up a little, and I was so grateful that they were prepared to change. As a first step, they told my sister to deal with her own problems, since she only had herself to blame and kicked her out of the house. My sister had no choice but to work desperately at several part-time jobs in order to pay off the enormous debt she had racked up paying compensation to the family she had broken. It was the first time she was living by herself, so she had to spend all of her pay on the rent, bills, and groceries, and had no money spare for her skincare, makeup, and expensive taste in fashion. I heard that she no longer looked as young as she used to, which is a shame because she was already lacking a decent personality. It looks like she won't be so popular with anyone anymore.